do on this Monday morning, another week starting, a new week is beginning. Today we are going to be doing these beautiful uh, spiral staircases with mini jewel beads. I'm just going to pop this on. I have added a couple of new colors to them. I really do love how the mini jewels bind together the spiral loops themselves. Very pretty design, very easy to do, but we're going to get to that just in a second. Right, let me know where you're watching from. Let me know how's the weather. <laughs> it's a little bit overcast here. Hopefully the sun's going to come through soon. Um, it's a bit like, you know, chilly. It's like, I can't believe it's end of June and the weather is not like, I don't know. Um, I, the weather has to be nice tomorrow because tomorrow I've got a special day. So it has to be very nice tomorrow indeed. Um, although we haven't really planned anything as such, but um, we end up either, I would like to go then have a barbecue on the beach, but uh, we will see that um, if we if we can get down there, if we can go down there, if it's cold, then we just might just might just have a cheeky takeaway at home for um, to celebrate my latest trip around the sun. Let's let's put it that way. <laughs> right, sunny in Denmark. Woohoo! We are gonna we're gonna head to Denmark. I just to love the lace on your new blouse. I had this one for quite some time to be honest and I got the same one in black and I think I got the same in navy blue as well because when I find something which is like really nice I buy like a couple of different colors as well but um, they were like kind of like tucked away so um, I like when you find them for the second time um, every sort of end of the spring I, I go through my cupboards and I go through like all the um, I'll take the winter clothes out and put the summer clothes in, like, and then every summer you find something new. Um, some sun, Asher is saying, morning, Susan. It's raining in Oxford. She's saying, oh, no. Karen, good morning. Pia, good morning. Um, oh, she said, thank you for helping me Friday. Not a problem. Um, Dee, good morning. Pauline, Gillian, I Isla, Thea, Bethan, Dallin Overcrossed in Kent, as she's saying. The sun is trying to shine, but a bit chilly in Clitharo. I hope I said that one right. Winning Sue, Alison, Karen, Ruth. Best beating weather, no distractions, Ruth. That's absolutely right. You are very, very right there. Good morning, Francis, Joy, Annie, Gwen, Mina, Alison. Oh, Simon just put the link up for us. Many Dior necklaces. Um, good morning, Robin, Oli Molly, Jan, Lucy. Adelina, Edward, Helen, or oh, there's so many I love yous are here already. Right, okay, so I'm going to turn you down and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you on the website very, very quickly as well. Either, um, let, let's pop to the website and let's have a look at that one very quickly. Let me just get rid of these windows and then I will show you, turn you down and show you them in real life as well. So by now, you know the drill. You need to go to totallybeats.co.uk and let me just pop back to the home page just on the top. And then you either come into categories and press on video tutorials here or on the right hand side of the top, we got this big button, take you to the same place. Hundreds of tutorials, do check them out. Uh, today we're doing the mini jewel necklace. There we go. And I have got eight different colors. So some of them are a little bit more brighter, some of them are a little bit more darker, but they are equally as nice. So we have bronze, we have gold, we have hematite, we have the matte silver, which I have on with the sort of tealy turquoise colorways, navy, olive garden. The olive garden is gorgeous. I'm going to show you that just in a second. We got purple and we got rose gold. Now, all of these kits are. And I'm going to come back and show them to you. Go straight down to the mat and show them to you in real life. Real life. <laughs> my co I'm coffee. I need a sip of my coffee. Yeah, somebody's saying, why has the summer gone? Dalang right here. But as Ruth said, it's the perfect weather to stay in and do some beading. Right, let me go down to the mat. And there we go. So we got some, and let me just take this one off of my neck as well. So we got so many different gorgeous colorways, and I am going to zoom in even more. So there's a couple of different 
patterns you can do with this one. You can either have the super duo sitting with each other, and I'm just going to give you a little bit more light on this. There we go. And a bit more light from there and a bit more light from there. There we go. That's nice and bright. So there's a couple of different variations you can do. You can have the super jewels be sitting right next to each other in a line, or you can space them out and they're sort of sitting a little bit further up. So when they're sitting together, they do make a, oh, this is the only one, but I did it separately. But when they sit together, they meet like a thinner, um, more curly wave. When they sit apart, they lack a little bit fatter um, in terms of the width, what what's your necklace is going to be. I really do love it. The method is really, really easy. We have the spiral staircase before with loads of different stitches and lo loads of different beads. Uh, and every single time we do spice staircase, it just turns out really, really nice. Right, okay, so let's have a look. This one is the, oh, come come up. They, they were sticking together the, mag the magnetic glass, but then I love this color by. So here we have the gold bead, the, the mini jewels are gold, and they are a very, we got gold seed beads in the middle as well. And then we have got this really nice sort of buttermilk color, like a very, like an ivory color size 11s with that one. Then we have got the, the bronze, which is this one. This one, I think the super Joe is actually called sued gold, maybe. Um, if I remember right. Now this one, I love it because the seed beads are quite dark, but you do get that really nice shimmer on that side from the super duos. But here we played with matte finish in the core and the shiny finish for the size 11s. I just really do think they do come out um, really nice. And then he's saying she lo loves the cream and gold. I love that one too. So rose gold, the next one. What does it look? They are sticking together. Rose gold, for of you do love rose gold. I love very nice summery color by as well. Then next one is going to be the hematite, which is like a gray color by. I love hematite because again, this one is goes bead everything. So we have got the hematite color um, super jewels with hematite seed beads and uh, these core ones, they just like sort of a hint of gray. So all together, they give you the hematite look. I really do love this one as well. You can wear it with whites, blacks, grays, all sorts of different colors. Next one is the purple blush. Let me show you the purple. I love this colorway as well. Quite nice and bright purple, but not too, like, you know, a little bit darker as well. More like a purple velvety color. I really do love this color as well. Next one, I'm going to show you the navy. I do love the navy as well. You know me, I wear a lot of blue and I, and I got like a little, this morning I got up and it was like, oh, I just need to put something on. I didn't quite fancy to put on a... Um, cardigan I thought it's, it can't be that cold so I just put the shirt over it but navy again goes with loads of blues all sorts of different colors and next one is the olive garden I love this color vibe because here what I did is they the seed bits right in the middle are olive color the the super jewels are somewhat olivey color, but they'll be a little bit of gold into it. And then the seed beads I choose them for this one. They are, ne are not normally used, these seed beads. I actually can't remember what exactly the name of this, but it's a beautiful, it's got like an iris, olive iris color to it. So you get the pinks, the purples, you get like golds, you get teals, you get greens, you get all sorts of golds and bronzes are coming through those seed beads. A really, really beautiful color. Well, let me just come in a little bit more so you can see it. Um, I love it. Again, perfect for the summer because we have got those uh, really nice colors in there. Right. Last but not least, this is the one I had on and um, I my demo with this one, actually, I got these ones here. So any of uh, any of the have I got all of them there? I got those. Okay. So <laughs> sorry, I had a little conversation with myself. Question: Is there a light crackle sound? Um, 
I, if it is not on my end, um, do let me know if anybody else can hear it. And um, and then I can, I don't know what I can do. I can unplug and plug back in. That, that, that's my go-to technique to do that one. So, Pia, thank you so much for the stars. Really, really appreciated. Um, metallic iris olive seed beads. That's, that's what these ones, metallic iris olive. That's what they're called. And the stand is okay, Simon is saying. So it might be your end, lovely. Sandys are good. Smuffy is saying it's okay here and he's saying so might might be your end, um Diane. Just try to like go out and come back in. Okay, so shall we get started with the demo? So the, the kits I have here, <laughs> I, I couldn't grab all of them, but I have got the I'll let you choose from these these three of them. I got all of them here. So I got the bronze. I got the, the Olive Garden and I have got this beautiful matte silver with the tails and turquoises. So do let me know which color do you want me to demo with and I will demo with that one. Tommy is saying sand is fine here. Yeah, that's good. Drizzling here in Bedfordshire, Paul is saying, yeah, I think it's going to rain here as well later on. But as Ruth said, it's the perfect beading day to stay in. You know, sometimes like when you got like housework to do or something and, and you're sitting there and thinking, um, oh, I must get on, I must do this, I must do that, but I just want to do one more row on my necklace or just want to do one more row on my bracelet. And, <laughs> and then as the time goes by, you like, uh, the house, housework when get, can wait, I will just do the beading. So today is the same, like the gardening can wait, we just do the beading. Right, okay, so let's have a look. What you all are saying, Pia is saying, Teal <laughs> and he's saying teal. I know already. I can see the comments which one is going to be. Sarah is saying teal. Lucy is saying teal. You're all loving the teal one. Um, silver and green. That that that's 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 the tealy color. Um, Asher is saying teal. That teal teal would show up better. Teal 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 teal. I know we're gonna push them teal teal wins. So that's it. Teal. No, none of you said any of the other color. Cream gold. Diane, I haven't got the cream gold kit here. Only had the three new ones, lovely. Olive, we had one for the olive. Thank you, Julian. Um, that's that's the olive garden. Thank you so much. But uh, the teal one, so we're gonna demo with the teal. Okay, so let me just grab my beads out here. So mini jewels, they are the same as super jewels. They're exactly the same um, shape, but they're smaller in size somewhat. And you could do the same stitch with super jewels as well, but you will make your beadwork like really much more like sort of spinning around and I think the super juice kind of like a little bit overpowering it so the mini juice just keeps it nice and delicate so let me just grab the seed beads out as well now these this one is more of a tealy seed beads what we're using for the size 8 and the size 11 is more of like an aquamarine seed bead you just got like a little bit of color difference between the two can you see because when you make it up you can't say that much but when it's on your it's sort of blends together so nicely but when it's on your mat you can see it and of course because they're both silver lined the size 11 and the size 8 the silver mini jewels just goes perfectly with it right let me just grab some thread and i always love to match the color i'm going to use this one the color of my thread do the beads i'm using and you know what i love super long so much and i'm going to show you this again because it comes in so many different colors so i can choose the correct color what i'm what i'm using because nothing worse to see your actually, let me move this out of the way nothing worse to see the thread coming through might well, just grab a needle quickly but you know how it goes and you want to thread a needle quickly it never goes through quickly especially when you're live on air but do my best i think actually the this one is blocked so let me just grab another one i was sorting out some needles and bits of pieces yesterday yes this one is good um and i got so many half used needles 
Right, so we're going to start, we're gonna, I'm going to leave the bobbin on, you can continue your beadwork the other way, so if you're making, especially if you're making a bracelet, and this way you won't have to join a new thread in, because we will have more thread going on from the other side. This is saying this one is one of my favorites, yes, we just did with this in the bead club. Please um, remind me, I think it was January, February time, quite some time ago. And now we're bringing them to you as kids, so you can all um, you can all enjoy them. The kids come and print that instructions and all the beads and the clasp as well, what you need. Right, okay, so I am going to pick up four seed beads of size 8. And we're always going to go through. So when you're doing a spiral staircase, actually, let's let just, let just take back up just sort of one step. When you're doing a spiral staircase, can you see that? And I'm going to bring this up even, even more. The size 8 seed beads, they are the core of my necklace there. And no matter what I do, I'm always going through those core beads. And of course, you could do this with size 11 seed beads as well as a core, but the thread might fill up the beads and then it will be really hard to go through. So whenever I do spiral staircases, I usually do the core bead is always one size bigger than the seed beads I use on the outside as well. And as you can, because we're here, we are bind together with the little super jewels just there. I can't sort of pull it apart and show it to you, but the loop always goes around the score beads. So if you imagine a long strand of size 8 seed beads and these other size 11s and the super jewels just sort of looped around every single time. Now you could make your necklace first and then you go around and do the looping afterwards but the, what's the great thing about the spiral staircase that you can go along and you can make it up as you the length from one end to another and you still get that really nice effect with the super jewels and um, size 11s going around the size 8 seed beads. Thank you, I love the spirals design. Mina is saying, I love it too. One, one of my very, very favorite stitches. Keep going back to it over and over again. Right, so I've got four seed beads, size eight seed beads on here. So I'm always gonna go through four size eights and I'm just move in a little more here. So no matter what I pick up on the outside, no matter Two bags of duos, this is saying, no matter what like what pattern I want to do on the outside, I'm always going to go through my core beads. So I kind of like to separate it in my head, the core beads and the outer loops as well. So four seed beads, then I'm going to pick up my pattern, which is going to be two seed beads, it's going to be two mini duos and another two seed beads. And I'm going to go through from the tail end, so here's my bobbin. From the tail end, I'm going to go through all of these beads again. And when I pull this up, I formed, actually let's wrap this around my finger, I formed this little, I guess, little bunny, <laughs> but maybe the ear sticking out in the middle. But from my first core beads with my first, um, my first seed beads outside. So now, every single time, when we are picking up, we want to make our next loop, we're gonna have to step ahead of ourselves. So we're gonna pick up the same outer beads, but we're gonna pick up one core bead. So I'm gonna pick up one size eight. Then, well, let me just take this down, because we want to start the next loop, just sort of one bead further up from what we did it before. And because we're working with super jewels here, we want to bind our beadwork into one of those super jewels. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up two seed beads and I'm gonna pick up a super jewel, a mini jewel, sorry. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go through the first mini jewel, the free hole for my previous loop and pull this up nice and tight. And what we're seeing here, let me just flatten this out actually. So we got our first loop and then we started our second loop. We went to that, that mini duo. And then we're gonna pick up two size 11 seed beads. And I'm gonna flip this again. And we're gonna go through four 
core beads one more time, but we're not going to go through the first core bead we have on there. We're going to count backwards. So you're going to count one, two, three, four from the top and go through those four core beads. And when I pull this up, this second loop, just going to sit right next to the first loop and my mini jewels are sort of start to be bound together. So I'm going to repeat the same thing over and over again, all the way down. So I'm going to pick up one core bead. I'm going to pick up two size 11, one mini duo. I'm going to come down through the free hole of that mini duo right there. Pull this up nice and tight. Then I'm going to pick up two seed beads. And I'm going to turn this so I, I can see the core beads themselves. And I'm count one, two, three, four, and go through those four core beads, the top four, always going to four, and pull this up nice and tight. So we got our second. And can you see it's as it's moving up, it's like spiraling around our core beads. And I'm going to go ahead and repeat this. Okay, well, you're going to repeat this as, as many times as you need to to get your desired length. Sorry, my voice is going. Lorna is saying, we did this in Beat Club in February. Really enjoyed making that one. Love the new teal colorway. Something about doing spiral staircase is just so therapeutic because you're doing the same stitch over and over again. There is no stepping up. It's quite, um, you know, it's just really easy. Like a really easy going stitch. You can, if you like meeting with friends and you're doing something, I always love to do something like this because if I get into a conversation and be talking about something I don't really have to pay that much attention because I'm doing the same stitch over and over again going all the way to the top so it's a per perfect um I don't bead it bead and netter <laughs> bead and netter stitch and every single time I'm going to come down of the free hole of that super duo and then go up through the core beads. Do let me know if you get any questions, put a cue in front of your question in the chat so I can identify it easily that is for me and make sure I can answer it for you. Uh, Mini Stain, thank you. I might try a bracelet. Lose, well, let me just get rid of this window. Lose my patience with necklaces. Herringbone necklace seems to take ages. Yes, herringbone necklace, sometimes if you do it with smaller beads, it does take longer, but it's a beautiful, like, you know, having the necklace is one of my favorites, but, and I love, I love doing them because the look you get, they're just, they're just perfect. They just look really good. So it's worth, sometimes it's worth to put in like sort of a longer make because you know, it's going to look good. But as I'm going along, I always say that when you're working with two whole beads, just have a quick peek. Or if you look at it on your mat, just have a look, sort of put your head above it. And I see the second hole is free because there's nothing worse when you go through a bead and then come to the next section where you have to go through the other hole and the other hole is blocked. You only get maybe like, I don't know, one in a thousand, but... Um, when it happens and can be annoying. So when I'm working with two hole beads, I usually just look through the holes very quickly. Can you see how it's growing? I really do love it. And just we're gonna go round and round and round. Be yeah, saying so, please. Demo is much simpler than I thought, even being left-handed the experiment when I cracked spiral circus. I'm going to do um, some left-handed videos some 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 point in the summer, I think, um, because there is that there is a good few ladies text me afterwards like, oh, that would be so good. So I'm going to do some, but um, just have to bear with me. I've got so much going on at the moment, so definitely haven't got the time just now. But sometime through the summer, I am going to be I do some left-handed videos as well, and we're just going to keep carry on and doing the same thing. So picking up one size eight. Picking up two size 11 and a mini jewel, then coming down through that free hole. Pulling this nice and tight, then picking up another two size 11 and going through the last four size 8. Morning, Fiona. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, 
Um, Chris is saying I'm left-handed. You kind of get used to thinking backwards. Um, yeah, I think like my 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 mum is a left right-handed. So when she was little, she was like she. I, I think she always says she was born left-handed, and then they made her to be right-handed in school. And for me, like I can do like things with both. Oh, I forgot to go through. See, I'm started talking. And I forgot to go through the beads. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm meant to go through? Come on, <laughs> let's take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> yeah. I'll even I make mistakes. Even if towards the end of the tutorial, a few minds showing left-handed makes a big difference. Uh, what I'm thinking to do is to do like, if I do a tutorial on Peyote Stitch, and then I can do the same tutorial on left-handed version or something like that but um all in working progress you know me i got so many ideas <laughs> and so many projects i want to do but i will get through some for you right okay so we are almost all the way around make sure you keep like a tight tension because that will I, I, you like loose tension is all right as well, but I think it's nicer with a tight tension that you get more of an even look to each one of those loops. There we go. And going through the last four again. Tip for left-hander, place your phone in front of a mirror and watch through the mirror. Yeah, Linda, that's that's a really good idea as well. I think we do, we so, like, human beings are so amazing. They always learn to do all sorts of different things. Like, you know, they adapt and we, we make and do and, like, you know, something happen and then... Like I'm always amazed of people who learn to paint with their with their feet and and all sorts of different things. I think we are so adaptive. I'm just gonna do a few more and then I'll show you how to do the clasp. The never ending to do list never gets any shorter. You very you put it you hit the nail on the head there absolutely. The problem is, like with my list, I got a list as long as arm and a leg, <laughs> and then I cross something off my list. But at the same time, I cross one thing on the list, I add two to it. So I always say, I got the first, well, I used to say, I have the first five years of retirement sorted with all my craft stuff. Then it turned into, I got the first 10 years of retirement. <laughs> with all my craft stuff and now I think I can kind of safely say I got the first 15 years of my retirement sorted with my craft stuff retirement is a long way away from me at least like 25 years so <laughs> by the time I get there I think I will have I will have sorted all of my retirement with all beautiful projects to do and things to learn and things to do and by then, I reckon, like in 25 years time, they're going to be even more different shapes and different techniques and all, all like, you know, they're going to be so much to, to pick and try and do. Like the industry is ever evolving. <laughs> Piercing, you're a superb chatter. Oh, thank you. I could talk for England, could talk for Hungary, could talk to all the countries in the world. <laughs> I do love chatting. Right, so I'm just going to do a few more stitches. If you just joined us, we are doing a spiral staircase with mini duos, size 8 and size 11 seed beads. And the stitch is exactly the same as you spiral around your main, like... In a way, to be honest, doing it with 
doing it like this with the, with the mini jewels are easier because if you didn't have the mini jewels each one of these loops would be separate and then they could either loop to the right hand side or loop to the left hand side and um, you have to always make sure you keep them to one side but because the mini jewels are binding these rows together these loops together you don't have to worry you can just keep on going because you know they always gonna sit in the right direction so pick, picking up you always pick up well first you pick up four of your core beads because you always need to go to four beads and then you're gonna pick up one core bead you're gonna pick up after your first loop your two size 11s you're gonna pick up one of your mini duo you're gonna go down on the top mini duo And then I'm just going to turn it so you can see. I'm going to pick up another two size 11 and I'm going to go up through the core beads and I'm always going through the last four core bead. And because when we start every single loop, we start by picking up one core bead. I'm just going to take this core bead down. Can you see if you're always working one core bead further up and so on all the way down. Then I pick up two size 11 and a mini duo come down through the free hole of that mini duo from the previous loop pick up two size 11 and go up through these four just like that and keep on going round and round and round um they tried to do that with my son in nursery I was furious when I found that poor Greg was upset. He refused to go into the nursery. They couldn't understand why till he told me they were taking pencils and scissors out of his left hand and forcing him to use his right hand. Oh, bless. I think, you know, all sorts of different beliefs um, come. And I think what I, you know, you, there's always going to be a dominant side. There's always going to be one side which is going to be like when a phone rings what hand do you reach for the phone or when you need to open a door which which hand you're going to reach to push that door open and but i think there is a like like trying to train your brain and trying to train your body to be able to do things with both hands i think that's so that's so great because then you know you can you can think look at things in from different perspective because if you everything always do with the right hand and all of a sudden you try it with the left it might feels really uncomfortable first but um your brain has to think in different ways that how am i going to do it and i think the more things exercises like do like that your brain becomes more um you know be able to doing changes and do all sorts of different things and come up with different ideas quicker maybe i'm wrong right so we got to one of those beads which is i didn't actually look which has got can you see it's blocked by a little bit of like there being there so there's two things you can do i'm just going to push my needle through and see if it comes through yeah and it just came out can you see I just freed it up now sometimes you can't do that because the way how they stamp the beads um the hole doesn't go all the way through then you won't be able to do that nine times out of ten you can poke the little derby or anything which would be in that second hole but if you can't then you're gonna have to take your beadwork back and replace it but first always try to just to unblock it so i would just put the needle in it and i just wiggle it around just like that and then it goes through um, i'm right-handed you type on the ipad with left exactly that's 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 what i'm saying we got we start to use different hands for different things like Lucy's right-handed but she will pick up the phone with with her left or you know all, all sorts of different things um, my friend learned to knit left-handed by mistake because she watched her mom from the front and mirrored her yeah absolutely 
um the some people like it's depending on who shows it to you 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 and and we learn so much the way how i learned to knit is more like the european way and crochet as well so <laughs> when we used to do the shows and i used to do some knitting or crocheting people used to come up to me and say you knit funny <laughs> and i said no i need, I need my way <laughs> Why well, we got a question from Liam? Sorry, got late here. Can you just describe quickly how you started, please? Absolutely. So when you start, you're going to pick up four of your core beads. Then you're going to pick up two size 11, two mini jewels, two size 11. And you're going to go through all of your four core beads. So you're going to have two size 11, two two size 11s two mini jewels two size 11s with your four core beads exactly the same what i have got there then from your second stitch and every single stitch you're going to pick up one size eight two size 11 and one mini jewel and you're going to come down on the first mini jewel to the free hole just like that then i'm going to pick up two size 11 seed beads and go up through the four if you can from the top one two three four the four see four sizes in front of you so in the previous loop you bent through that one at the bottom but now this loop because we added a new one at the end we moved along a core bead we always going through four which is the last four seed beads and you're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way down Picking up a core and a mini jewel, coming down through that mini jewel. And going back up. There we go. Just like that. And go all the way along until you get your design length. So I've been doing it for probably about 20 minutes and I got maybe just over a couple of inches. I like to leave the bobbin on. The bobbin is still on a descent, and because you can continue your beadwork that way as well. So I usually I come along, and I do a length, which is, you know, how 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 much ever my thread is trying to run out or getting very close to run out, and then I attach my clasp and then take more thread off the bobbin and continue the other way. And they're saying, got it, thank you. <laughs> you are very welcome. Right. Um, Angela is saying, I use both writing, depending on how sore my arthritis is. So, um, I'm going to show you how to put the end. I just need to grab a clasp. There we go. So, when we come to the end, there is, like, obviously different ways you can attach to clasp to your let me just show you on this one to your come on focus on this one camera so i like to like taper down and as as i go sooner can you see i got four two two seed beads on either side then i got two and one then i just got the seed beads with no super jewels and another two seed beads just to continue the spiraling around as much as i can all the way to the top on both ends so when, when we come to add the class, when in the instructions, you will get the instructions how to do this version of the stitch as well. When you are having a seed bead between the mini jurors, do you check that one out as well? Now, adding the clasp, I'm going to pick up one size eight. And instead of picking up my loop, we're going to turn the direction. I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp, pull this up. And then I'm going to come back down through four of the size eights, just like that. And then I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. And then I am going to pick up two size 11s. I'm going to pick, go through this free hole so we are reversing what we were doing then I'm gonna pick up one mini duo and I'm just gonna pick up one seed bead and I'm gonna go through the size 8 at the top again 
and the loop on the clasp as well. So we just shortened the top of our loop there. Then I'm going to turn around by coming down through that size 8 underneath the loop and two more size 8s just like that. Now I'm going to pick up two more seed beads. I'm going to go through the free hole on that mini duo. Pull that up nice and tight. And we haven't really got like sort of space to add any seed beads in there anymore. So I'm just going to go straight up into that size 8 and through the loop on the class. So this way you are going to sew this end or the other end or any, any end to your class quite a few times. And now I'm going to come down that size 8 and the first and one more size 8 from my beadwork. Pull this up nice and tight. I'm just going to pick up a couple of seed beads, go back up again, a couple of size 11s, go back and around again, and then turning my direction, coming down through the core beads, just like that. And there we go. And from here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to just work off the thread um, with a couple of one threads up. So I usually take it a little bit further down. Just go through the next few core bead. Just pull this up nice and tight. And then we are going to do a one thread knot where we are. So locate where your thread is coming out from. I'm just going to catch the thread path sort of some thread in between these two size 8 seed beads and I'm going to catch that size 11 as well. I didn't go through any beads. I just caught the thread path between the two seed beads and then I'm going to pull this up. And as I'm pulling this up, oops, and I pulled it a bit too much and the loop disappeared. Don't mind do it again. Just catching those thread. Pulling this through. And before I... There we go, the tail end. Before this loop disappears, we're going to take our needle through this loop. And as I'm pulling this tight, can you see there's a little knot is going to be forming on the top of our thread there. Then I'm going to go down maybe two or three beads and repeat again. Just pull that through. And then... Catching some of the threads here. And pulling it through just like that. And then going through a few more beads. Probably a couple of times is more than enough. Even is saying another question. Sorry, I don't say sorry. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> you can ask as many questions as you like, lovely. I have some super duos. Would it still work with the same size seed beads or would I need larger ones? So super duos, they will work, but it will be more twisted. I have tried it with super duos, but it didn't look as delicate as I, as I want it to look. And then I'm just going to trim the end off. And that's it. One side is ready. And now we will take more thread off the bobbin and continue our thread the other way. So it would work with, with normal mini jewels, not well, normal super jewels, not mini jewels, but it will be more fatter and um, like a little bit chunkier. I, I like the look of, it's like, it's still a little bit chunkier than like, but it's only probably about six, seven millimeter in length. So it's a nice necklace to wear on its own as well. So I'm just carry on all the way down just like that. Oh, bead club order just have arrived. Oh, bless. I use both for writing depending on how my write is. I love it. Lucy's saying I love it. Don't forget we got many, many different colors in the, on the website. Eight in total. 
and they're all equally nice <laughs> i can't like i always say like oh yeah this is my favorite color and i and i go look at the next one and it was like oh no 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 that's my favorite color and i look at another one and i'm thinking actually that is my favorite color it's always the current one i love i love playing with colors so we got like sort of summary summary colors and then we have got some darker colors as well which you can still wear in the summer of course but like if you're working in office or something like that if you're wearing a lot of navy then um go and check those colors out as well so there's eight colors on the website the instructions comes with both variations so we'll show you how to do the one when you have got a seed beads in between it's just like you're picking up slightly different beads and then it shows you this the skinnier version as well what, what i just showed you um love it there is um they're just just so so pretty and very therapeutic to do as well so um that's it for me today then this week we have got coming up um on wednesday let me just let me just pop it let me just pop into my diary <laughs> because you know me I, I never know i don't even know what day of the week it is but i forget what i'm doing as well <gasps> oh yes so remember the summer wine earrings we did a couple of um a couple of weeks ago now now we're going to be building on that one and we're going to be doing bracelets and necklaces with um gemstone beads and um and crystal beads and they look absolutely they look really really nice so I'm, I'm very i'm excited about that one as well and later in the week we're going to be playing with the 33 colors of six millimeter and like a, a bead bundle that's going to look really good as well now don't forget on saturday i do have got um the creation station coming up which i'm really excited about because i love the beads what's in there like i can't really hint hint wink wink but um they table cut beads like with a beautiful dragonfly on it but shh, i didn't tell you <laughs> don't tell simon don't tell simon i told you um you the the bundle is available on the website as well so let me quickly just show you like what we're doing we're gonna be revamping and re oops no 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 that's not what i want that's my calendar that's 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 not one to you are used to see i want you to see the website <laughs> there we go so um if you go i'm going to go into the main page if you go into categories we do have got one which is called creation station where you go there we go there we go creation station if you click on that one now we are like this is july and then this is june what we did in june i'm going to pop into june and show you we did a couple of videos so both of the videos i'll leave on there so once you get the kit once you can go back and watch both of the sessions they both three hours long so i have to <laughs> i have to warn you now they're still available um to buy on the website but the, i want to point this out so if you want to get the june one please do get it now because as of 1st of july the price of the june kit is going to go up to normal price so simon's gonna stop the offer on that one so if you love this one have a look at the june one because and we've done that that beautiful hematite donut and i'm actually i am working with it to do something else with it because i just really loved it so much so um no i'm not going to show you I'll, I'll i'll show you when i've done a bit more so and then july we got um a new kit and like if you look if you look really carefully you can might you might be able to see it behind what what sort of beads are in there but there is no sort of more details again this is on discount until well up until the end of july and we will post the videos on the top here to for you to so you can come back and view it there as well just sort of like a different technique but with that if you get the bundle we can work together and do the beading together on saturday night now that with this one because and i'm just going to pop back in and i'm going to show you so you can see those little lovely beads in the back i'm not on those table cut beads there is limited like the limited number of those so we got limited number of kits and and once they go they go because like we only got <laughs> only hit x amount of table cut beads in the office upstairs at work so once they're gone once they're gone they gone that's for that's for july so do check that one out as well and beat club is coming up and i'm actually going to take you to the beat club website very quickly 
do check this one out as well because we not normally you do it um so beat club if you don't know what it is we do teach through zoom the thursday evening and friday morning look there's the lovely sarah there um i don't like that picture of me i look so so different in that one um <laughs> but we never do don't we so i'm just going to put one to the thursday evening one so you can book on to just one class and um or you can book on to all sorts of different ones sort of monthly with a monthly membership which will gives you the place for every single one of them what's coming up on either thursday night or friday morning i was clear as mud there wasn't i <laughs> leanne is going to be updating the pictures very soon and then we got so many lovely projects coming up right my lovelies i hope you enjoyed today so don't forget this week we have got oh, let me just come up back to the main so this week we have got wednesday and friday morning we have got 10 a.m here in total of Eats. saturday night so just put in your diary we got creation station and you know sunday night i always come through with my chit chat if i <laughs> don't forget or if i'm dumb out, don't not out but um that's it for you this week um alison singh thank you kitty super delighted to have the opportunity to link in in south africa we are in lockdown level three from last night because of the delta rise oh bless you unfortunately the case is going up here as well so we we have to be careful as well but everybody take care and have a lovely week i'm gonna be putting my feet up tomorrow i was uh, I'm, not, I'm not promising i'm not gonna do any bead work or anything at all and um i'm not sure like i'm hoping the kids like treat me to a cake and um let me see I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna enjoy i didn't last year i planned so many things for my birthday and i wasn't able to do anything at all and this year i'm going in with no plan at all so i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i, I see how i feel i'll probably like go for lunch with a couple of girls and um like a couple of ladies and um around me and don't know what we do i don't know if the, the kids or simon planned anything but we will see. And Simon, if you're listening, yes, it is tomorrow. So <laughs> you just remember. <laughs> right. My lovelies, take care and have a good day. Have a good week and I'll see you very soon.